Hi students in this video I will discuss about boilers and its type. A boiler is a closed vessel in which the steam is generated from water by applying heat. The heated or vaporized fluid exits the boiler for use in various processes or heating applications. A boiler or steam generator is used where a source of steam is needed. The boilers are mainly used in mobile steam engines such as steam locomotives, portable engines and steam-powered road vehicles, stationary steam engines, industrial installations and power stations. A boiler includes a firebox or furnace to burn the fuel and generate heat. The generated heat is transferred to water to make steam. A Lamont boiler is a type of forced circulation water tube boiler in which the boiler water is circulated through an external pump through long closely spaced tubes of small diameter. The mechanical pump is employed in order to have an adequate and positive circulation in steam and hot water boilers. Steam separator drum. It is placed outside the boiler assembly. The drum receives a mixture of steam and water from the evaporator tubes and it feeds water from the economizer. Here, the water particles present in the steam are separated. Water circulating pump. The centrifugal pump is used to draw the water from the drum through downcomers. The pump circulates the water by forced circulation and equal to 8 to 10 times the weight of steam evaporated which prevents the overheating of tubes. Distributing header. It is used to control flow of water to evaporator tubes. Evaporator. It is used to evaporate the water into steam. Convection superheater. The steam produced in the boiler is in the state of saturated condition. The moisture in the steam will affect turbine blades and cause the corrosion. To avoid it, the superheater is used. It is used to increase the temperature steam and improve the efficiency. Economizer. The main purpose of economizer in the boiler is to preheat the feed water using exhaust gases flowing out from the boiler to the atmosphere. The preheated water requires only a small amount of heat to be supplied in the boiler. It will increase the efficiency of the boiler. Then, the feed water supplied by the feed pump is heated in the economizer on its way to the steam separator drum. Air preheater, it is used to preheat the air by using exhaust gases flowing out from the boiler. The preheated air is supplied to the furnace for combustion. Working, the feed water passes through the economizer to the drum from which it is drawn to the circulation pump. The pump delivers the feed water to the tube evaporating section. The circulating water is about 8 to 10 times the steam evaporated one in the boiler. The steam in the drum is a mixture of steam and water. The steam is drawn through a convection superheater. The superheated steam is supplied to the prime mover through the steam outlet. The working pressure of Lamont boiler is 170 bar and capacity up to 50,000 kg 500 degrees Celsius temperature. Benson boiler in the Lamont boiler, the main difficulty experienced is the formation and attachment of bubble on the inner surfaces of heating tubes. The attached bubbles to tube surfaces reduce the heat flow and the steam generation as it offers high thermal resistance than water film. This difficulty is overcome in Benson boiler. This is the first type of drumless boiler. The arrangement of different components is shown. The entire process takes place in a single tube. It is also called once through boiler, economizer, if the feed water from feed tank is supplied to the economizer. In this boiler, the economizer is used to preheat the feed water, radiant evaporator. The feed water from the economizer flows into the radiant evaporator in which the water gets evaporated and it is partly converted into steam. The radiant evaporator receives the heat by fuel through radiation process, convection evaporator. The remaining water in the radiant evaporator is evaporated in the convection evaporator. The heat required is absorbed from hot gases by convection. Thus, the saturated high pressure steam at a pressure of 210 kgf per square centimeter is produced, convection superheater. The saturated steam is available in the convection evaporator. It is superheated in convection superheater and the superheated steam is supplied to the steam turbine. Working, in Benson boilers, complete heating, steam generation and superheating are done in single tube. The feed water after circulation flows through economizer tubes and it also flow, 
through the radiant parallel tube section to evaporate partly. The remaining water in the radiant evaporator is evaporated into steam in the convection evaporator by hot gases. The saturated steam available from the evaporator is passed through the convection superheater where the steam is superheated. Finally, the superheated steam is supplied to the steam turbine through the steam outlet. The capacity of Benson boiler is about 750 tons per hour. Features 1. It can be erected comparatively in a smaller floor area. 2. As there are no drums, the total weight of Benson boiler is 20% less than other boilers. 3. It can be started quickly. 4. Circulating pump and down comers are dispensed. 5. The furnace walls of the boiler can be more efficiently protected by using smaller diameter and close pitched tubes. 6. Easy transportation is possible. 7. It can be operated most economically by varying the temperature and pressure at partial loads and overloads. 8. It has only 4% of blow down losses. 9. No special starting arrangement superheater is required. Low fuller boiler The major problem experienced in Lamont boiler is the deposition of salt and sediment on the inner surfaces of water tubes. To rectify this problem, the forced circulation is used. This boiler can carry higher salt concentrations than any other types. The principal operation in evaporating the feed water is done by using the superheated steam available in the superheater fluid. Hot gases from the furnace are being primarily used for superheating purposes. The steam is used as a heat absorbing medium. Image shows the various components of a low flow boiler. Economizer. Feed water from the feed tank is supplied to the economizer by a feed pump. The economizer is used to preheat the water before it goes to the boiler. Evaporator drum. The evaporator drum contains steam and water. The feed water from the economizer tube enters the evaporator drum into which two-third of the superheated steam is passed to heat the water in the drum and it is evaporated to saturated steam. Mixing nozzles. It is used to distribute and mix the superheated steam throughout the water in the evaporator drum. Steam circulating pump. It is used to force the steam from the evaporator drum to the radiant superheater. Radiant superheater, it is placed in the furnace. Hot gases in the furnace are used for superheating the saturated steam coming from the drum. Convection superheater, steam from the radiant superheater enters the convection superheater where it is finally heated to the desired temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. Both radiant and convection superheaters are arranged in series in the path of flue gases. Steam outlet, one third of the superheated steam from the convection superheater passes to steam turbine and remaining two third is passed to the evaporator drum. Working, the high pressure feed pump draws water through the economizer and it is delivered to the evaporating drum. The steam circulating pump draws saturated steam from the drum. Then it is passed through radiant and convective superheaters. One third of superheated steam is passed from the convection and radiant superheaters to the turbine. The remaining two third is passed through the water in the evaporating drum to evaporate the feed water. Features of the boiler, 1. It can handle high salt concentrations ratio than any other type of high present boiler. Two. It is more compact. 3. Easy transportation is possible. 4. The capacity is 100 tons, H and the operating pressure is L40 bar. Velux boiler. Velux boiler is a forced circulation water tube boiler. It is mostly used in gas turbine. In this boiler, the velocity of flue gases is greater than the velocity of sound, which causes more heat transfer from gas to the water which increases the steam generation rate. Due to this, it is most important boiler. Economizer, it is used to preheat the water coming from the feed pump. Axial flow compressor, it is used to raise the air pressure from atmospheric pressure to furnace pressure. Water circulating pump, it is used to pump the water from the economizer to tube evaporating section. Convection superheater, it is used to superheat the steam based on the convection principle. The Velux boiler works as a basic heat exchanger. The working of this boiler is as follow. 
the air is compressed by air compressor driven by gas or turbine driven. This compressed air passes from the combustion chamber, where more heat release by the fuel which increase the velocity of the flue gases up to sound velocity. From the bottom of combustion chamber, this flue gases pass from the fire tubes. These fire tubes surrounded by the evaporator water tubes. The water from the economizer passes from the evaporator tube force by a circulating pump. This water passes 15 to 20 times from the evaporator tube at very high speed. Due to this high speed circulation, heat is transfer from the gases to the water at very high rate. The mixture of water and steam is formed which further passes from the water and steam separator. The steam from the steam separator passes to the superheater and further for process work. The remaining water in the steam separator again passes from the evaporator tube. The flue gases from the fire tubes send to the superheater tubes, where it increases the steam temperature. The gas from the superheater sends to the turbine where it rotates the gas turbine and then passes from the economizer. Features 1. High combustion rates are possible to dot boiler can be quickly started. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel subscribe Chennai Minds and comment below.